was in the sixth grade, I used to wear a water bra to school. I'd sneak my mom's water bra to school because I had uneven boobs. One was a B and one was a double D. I was really insecure about it. Then one day my creepy teacher called me out in front of the class and said, hey, your boobs look like they grew overnight. And I said, yes, I have a deformity. So I have a water bra on because I had no filter back then. And I overshared even when I was just a 12 year old. So then he said to see him after class and I saw him after class. He said, you can't wear water bras to school. And he wouldn't tell the principal if I took it off. And I said, fine, I'll take it off. And I was going to go to the bathroom. And he said, no, you can't go to the bathroom. You have to take it off right here. So I took it off in front of him to which he decided to feel up my shirt to make sure there wasn't any other bras and to make sure my deformity that I said that I had was real. And he said, I think your boobs are perfect the way they are. I was 12. <laughs> but I, you know what my, my secret was? Is I had mom's water bra. Oh, yes. <laughs> my mom had a bra that had water in that. Back. We were like, where did you over find it? those? Like, they don't make those. those because were like, we had no, well, you had, you needed it. Mine were like else. saggy. I had no boobies. But but then you could tell it was fake because like obviously you couldn't see the real boobs. Like it was just all, it was just all bra. So it just looked like bra. No, I think yours was like, a little bit and oh, then yeah. <laughs> flush you know yeah, my boot my natural Mine boots are bad. was like gap i remember wearing the water bra in eighth grade and i will not say this teacher's name because oh, it's weird yeah but i remember like him just like always hating me like he only like popular kids or whatever you, like read your shirt yeah yeah okay that was a different story but he read my shirt one time he's like oh like what's your shirt say like can you come closer <laughs> like it was and oh, I felt weird about it at the time. Good. But no, I remember it was like everyone was on a field trip to fucking like fucking Springfield or some shit. And I no like, one went I to that. Back. Did Nick go to that? Nick did, yeah. You didn't oh. go? Hell yeah, I didn't Did go. you go to school though or did you stay home? I stayed home. Oh, I still like went to school. I was like one of like three kids and I was like, oh, I'll still go to school, whatever. And so I went to school and he was one of the people that were like watching us or whatever. Oh and I remember gosh. I had the water bra and he's like, Trisha, he's like, can you just stand up to talk to the class? And you never stood up to like talk. Like, to <laughs> to the two people in the classroom? <laughs> Oh my gosh, how traumatic for you. <laughs> He's just like, he goes, and I Give remember. Give a little shimmy? What did he do? Oh, and worse. I just no. remember him being like, <sighs> like, freaking so happy. And I was like, so confused. Because I really, I was not in I, I wonder if he's sex. on your OnlyFans. <laughs> This teacher, I did not think he was cute. I didn't oh, you'll I, have I was, to tell me after. No, he was I just. Which you don't know. Um, oh, I feel like yeah. He wasn't like a perverted. Well, maybe obviously he was, but he wasn't like there was a teacher in sixth grade that got in trouble for like child porn on his computer. Shut but that up. wasn't the same one. Yeah. Do you remember his name? I don't. I guess I could say I don't know. He got. He did get like arrested for it. But he was in sixth grade. He was so creepy. But he like liked me in sixth grade, which makes sense because he's a fucking creep. 